minute steak, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes? How long does a steak take to cook? What is a great steak to cook in a cast iron pan? Do you need a big fatty Wagyu ribeye? Do you need a New York strip? I like to change my mind all the time. Do I like a ribeye? Do I like, you know, a baseball steak? Do we roast it? Do we smoke them? Do we reverse sear? Everyone's reverse searing. You know, there's so many different ways to cook a fucking steak. And in my book, Home Style Cookery, I talk about the minute steak. The minute steak is the new 4,647th hour reverse sear sous vide. Get a thin slice of top sirloin, and you sear it on a pan, then eat it like a real human. I'm gonna sound like a real boomer idiot, but do we need to make this more complicated? Or can we just understand that you don't have to have a $500 immersion circulator to make a steak, however fat it is? In the Commonwealth, we use HP sauce. House of Parliament destroys A1 steak. <laughs> HP, send the check. So, a steak is good with ketchup. Caviar spiked Bernays. Oh, poor. Let's not get this shit twisted. Steak is good, but it's best dipped in something. Even A5 Wagyu dipped in a sukiyaki sauce all day. So get to dip it. The minute steak in store-bought HP dip, dippy dippers. We're dipping steak. This is like a steak out of like, when, when like a boxer was punched in the face and you'd, you'd slap it on your eye. This is like the steak of that. There's nothing better than a hard cast iron sear steak. This is it. We're gonna get this pan hot. You don't need it smoking hot. You just need it hot, hot, okay? We're gonna season with a fair amount of salt here, okay? Both sides. Then what we do, a little veg oil, neutral oil. And when I'm cooking a steak like this, I wanna completely cover the pan. Almost like a shallow fry. Just enough to fully coat that bottom pan. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We wanna move the steak around. So there isn't any dry spots, any wet spots with the hot oil. And I am pushing down on the steak. Because at this point, it's not like I'm pushing out any juice, it's still completely raw. So I'm just trying to form a nice crust. So if you have a little weight too, take that weight. Push it down on that steak. Sizzle, 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 baby. Oh, look at that. Look at that steaky poo. Woo! So right now, we're gonna add two large tablespoons of butter. Now what we're gonna do, is butter based. We're going to froth town. Welcome to froth town. This is my cast iron pan. This is Matheson Cookware by Castor. Look at this. Look at it. It is Look at it. designed for butter basting. It's got the long extended handle. Extended. It's got the rim to be able to go, go to froth. To be able to gather more butter. Frothy, frothy butter, as I will demonstrate. It's the base in froth town. Look at that, that steak is gonna rest now. I'm gonna take this just off the heat. We can let this steak rest for like 20 minutes. It's gonna be perfect, I love it. We're gonna just slice up and cut these onions and we're gonna cut them kind of thick, okay? So what I like to do, I like to keep the onions raw. Sorry. What I like to do is I'm gonna make like onion rings. So just cut them quarter inch thick. There we go. And we're just gonna take these and put them in the butter. Put them back on the heat. We're just gonna saute. This smell is so good. So we're just gonna caramelize these up. And now what I'm gonna do also, we got our steak here. I'm gonna hit it with some pepper, some fresh cracked pepper. And this is gonna make such a nice difference. And then we'll be able to take all the juices, add that to our onions. <sighs> is there anything better than just like frying onions? I really wish. We could make a real, like a smell o vision Oh, look at this. And by the time that these caramelize and get really good, that's the perfect amount of time to rest our steak. And the thing, you maybe notice I haven't seasoned these at all. 
because there's enough salt in that pan that comes off that steak and this butter and that oil, we don't have to season these. Time for a little contemplation, a little steak contemplation. I'm really excited about this. Top sirloin is so versatile. It's a very misunderstood steak. You know, like this is the steak that they cooked like a hundred years ago. It's older than you. There's kind of that tipping point when you're cooking onions too, when they start really caramelizing. I don't want these just to be like softy softies. I want them to still have a little bit of integrity, a little bit of a crunch. So right now, what we're gonna do, look at that. We're gonna drip that off. Little resting juices, you got that? And we're gonna add that in our pan. That's the final step. Heat off the steak, ba boom. Just that little steak resting juices made such a big difference to the onions. That extra steak essence, little HP right here, ba boom. That's it, homestyle cookery, cook the steak cook the onions in front of your eyes, in front of my eyes, in front of my body, in front of your body. The screen is the only thing between us. And now we got the steaky poo. We got the minute steak. I'm gonna cut it in half. Look at this piece. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this cook. That is beautiful. This is what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Oh my God. You don't have to make the $500 steak. You go buy one top sirloin, slice it a bunch of times. You got yourself something that is world-class. It's not chewy. No. I'm really excited for you guys to hit this up and cook the minute steak. The top sirloin is the king of steaks. You never knew it. I love you so much. Maddie Matheson, Home Style Cookery, coming September 29th. Available in Prop Towns. September 29th. Get it, pre-sales are on. Go to the link, hit it. All right, guys, have a great day. I'm Maddie Matheson. Enjoy yourselves, respect each other, and love one another. Let's go.